Hi guys, Jen Atkin here. I'm gonna show you how to get one of my favorite red carpet looks in five easy steps. This is the Glamorous Beachy Wave. So I prepped Cameron's hair with a really great volumizing mousse by L'Oreal. I suggest for girls with fine to medium hair, trying Sajwan Ocean Mist. It's really great because it gives your hair a nice memory and hold and will make sure that the style will last all night. Okay, so once you've put in your mousse and you put in your texture spray, you're gonna rough dry your hair just with like a Mason Pearson brush. You don't wanna get too flat, so just kind of rough dry if you have wavy hair. If you have fine hair, you'll wanna flip your head upside down and just get as much volume as you can. To make sure that the look looks really nice for evening, you're gonna wanna do a side part. So I technically go right above the middle of the eye and you know, everybody has a side that they prefer. So right above the middle of the eye and you wanna make sure you're going in a straight line back. And if you have any cowlicks, you can always pay attention to those after you're finished with the style. I have a nifty little toothbrush that I use to get rid of any of those stubborn hairs in the hairline. So next you're gonna section your hair into four sections. The next step is to take this Termline Waving Iron, and this is one of my favorite tools because it's just really easy to get a quick beachy look at home. Now if you have really fine hair, I would suggest maybe prepping your hair with hairspray, brushing through the hairspray, and then starting with the iron. And this iron is really great because it's easy to find on Amazon, you can get it at CVS, you can get it at Walgreens, but it's really simple. It's the same concept as a crimper, but it's a little bit wider set apart, so it's not gonna get as tight. So the trick with this iron is you wanna make sure that you go an equal distance as you're moving down the hair, so that you don't repeat a curl. And if anything looks too curly once you've done it, you can always pull at the curl while it's hot, and that'll stretch it out. So you'll wanna take about one inch sections, and I'm taking horizontal partings and just move the same length that the iron is so that you're not repeating any curls. So if you wanna make sure that you get really nice volume, I suggest taking the sections, you're taking one inch sections, and if you started with the iron facing up, you'll wanna face it upside down on the next one. That will help create a brick layer effect and will make it so you get even more volume with these waves. And the trick is to get as close to the root as you can, just to make sure you get nice volume. And you can always pull at the curl if it feels a little too curly. So once you have your curls set, you wanna take a flat iron and just grab sections around your hair to stretch out the curl so that the curl doesn't look so uniformed and it has a little bit of variation. Okay, so next I'm gonna use a mousse. I really love Co's pomade mousse and Orbe has a really great mousse called Surf Comer. And I would say for medium length hair, you just wanna start with a quarter size amount. And always start with product in the back, underneath. And just kind of rake the mousse through the hair. Making sure that you apply the product evenly. Okay, so our last step is we're gonna take one side, and I always like to kind of pull it away from the face. So I like to use hairspray just to smooth one side away from your face. One trick for your hairline is to spray some hairspray on a toothbrush and just smooth out any of those little guys that get in your way. So you'll secure this side that you decide to put back with a couple of bobby pins. And you can do a bunch of different variations. You can either stack them in a line, you can crisscross them, or if you wanna just hide the pin, you can kinda of take the hair and twist it and just pull the bobby pin up and then direct it down. And secure it by crisscrossing with another pin. And as an option, I love adding a hair accessory. There's so many great ones out there. You can go to Topshop, H&M, these are from Lillette, New York, and Jennifer Burr has really amazing pieces as well. And so if you want to, you can just kind of add one of these pins. They're so easy to put in. And it just kind of adds a little bit of glamour, especially if you're wearing like a little black dress. It's a really cute look. Looks great.
Okay, there you have it. That is your glamorous beachy waves that will take you from day to evening.